Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to another session of our conversation with Malkin. And today we have with us Sunam Patel. Now, Sunam uh, is currently at IIT Roorkee, and she is doing a master's in net. Qualified net this year, right? Last year. Yeah. Her net paper, something that students usually do after their masters. And uh, she is also from Delhi University. She has done her bachelor's from Delhi University. Today she is going to guide us as to you know how IIT Roorkee is all about and what is their degree and what's the faculty there and you know, so that you can make a good decision between IIT and Delhi. Welcome to Krishna Sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. You now let's start by talking about the curriculum at IIT. How you know what subjects are taught in the first semester, second semester, and how does the course go? Uh, so, during the first and second semester, the curriculum is. Uh, so, let me give you a brief about how it all started. So, basically, this uh, IIT jam it started recently. Before that, it was meant for mathematics people. So, keeping that in mind, they framed the curriculum such that even non eco background students can handle it. So first few semester, first semester and second semester, it's more mostly basic things, basic micro, mi micro one, micro two, uh, micro one in first semester, uh, micro two in second semester, micro one, micro two, okay. development, uh, yeah, uh, MME, math uh, mathematical methods for economics, hmm. and so uh, first two, uh, yeah, semesters are like that. Hmm. Then again uh, for third and fourth semester, like uh, we get. So I just one minute. Yeah, yeah. So for third and sem uh, fourth semester, we have a few compulsory courses and few optional courses. So like uh, compulsory are these uh, econometrics, advanced econometrics, and uh, uh, yeah, I think these are the compulsory. I can send you the list as well, <laughs> uh, where it's all description. Uh, it's given in uh, description. And then also it's uh, the whole curriculum is also focused on uh, research area. So we have this seminar thing in third semester okay. where we, uh, we have to decide what research uh, we have to do, the research question and all. And we present it in front of our, all our professors and they tell us uh, how to proceed and all. So in the second year, uh, most of our curriculum is uh, focused on this. So we have this uh, two credit seminar in third semester and 10 credit project in fourth semester. So our fourth semester is mostly research oriented. Got it. So uh, when you talk about the, the first year usually in any masters is very maths oriented. So whether we talk about IIT, ISI, DSC, it, the second semester usually is where you can choose a subject of your choice. So if you don't want to do a mathematical subject, you can skip that. But how difficult is the first year? How much maths is involved in the first year? There is maths. <laughs> Just get it. There is maths, uh, but the faculty are very good. Okay. Also, uh, we don't have, like our strength wasn't very much. Hmm. IIT is oh, like, uh, for IIT rookie, the intake is only for 30 students. And like students also leave because the admissions for IIT Roorkee it happens very early, quite early. Yes. So people then leave to and go to DSE and JNU according to their choices. So it's like the teacher and student ratio, student to teacher ratio, it's quite less. So we get uh, quite a good amount of attention from our professors and like the interaction is very well. And so, you have, you have, you, you get these problem sets and tutorials or everything is within the class. Um, no, it's uh, like, yeah, we do get a problem, like, yeah, tutorials and problem statements and uh, like, there is no, uh, no particular session, particularly uh, about, uh, for tutorials and all, mm -hmm. but we are free to go to professors, like all of them told us in the beginning that they are there in their office, we can go visit them anytime. So, yeah, we have to do that. But otherwise, you can go to faculty anytime you want, there is no yeah. problem in that. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, how is the campus of Rudki and, you know, how do you, does it provide hostel to students and how is the hostel like? 
yeah so uh, one of the like one of the few things which i liked about rohki was the campus campus mm-hmm. life there is amazing um, also uh, when it comes to academics we have this uh, whole building for humanities and mathematics department so and, and we get uh, msc economics people we get this separate data analytics lab we can go and we can sit there mm-hmm. we get like for all these data r we can all do our analysis there till whatever time we want and okay. then there is the, this library uh, mm-hmm. ngcl the central library of institute so it has a separate room which is open for 24 hours so you can just like go there and sit anytime study anytime you want mm-hmm. and it's a closed campus and it's a beautiful campus right it's a iit delhi campus is huge i'm not sure about rudki i haven't seen within the campus they have chaios within the campus they have these beautiful shops which sell dosa parathas and uh, you have good brands also within the campus and at a nominal fee so agar chaios ka chai you will get outside it will be very hefty it will be say 130 140 rupees within the campus you will get it cheap so good food and less price that is what iit delhi campus is about and i remember that within the campus so i had gone to you know take an interview with one of the iit delhi professors and within the campus students will go ahead and you know do cycling there because it's so huge so you can take a cycle at the start and then you can just roam around within the campus inside they have um, medical facilities also they have a hospital made so everything i mean it's a different life within the campus you don't have to go out anywhere so is it the same in iit rudki also yeah it's loosely same like we have a institute hospital inside the campus we have a school inside the campus okay. <laughs> uh, that is for school, uh, faculty member the students um, yeah like i i think it's uh, common anyone can okay. go okay okay so so, uh, so now yeah. also about hostels you were asking uh, and i just like just it slipped off my mind so there are hostel facilities available and it's compulsory to stay in the hostel and it's good in my second year uh, i got the, like all of the master student uh, do get single room and so we have privacy and yeah okay so you know usually the so i was just talking to bsc student and they told me that currently this year the fees of dst dsc per year is 10000 rupees so 20000 for entire masters degree and gnu is about 500 rupees per year how is the fee structure at iit so uh, for per semester we had to pay 37000 some odd amount so yeah but it includes our mess fee our accommodation our tuition fees and everything medical and including all. hostel 37000 yeah. everything is included in it which is good okay yeah. <laughs> then what about um, you know because iits have very recently started masters how is the placement ha- has a placement center been created only for economic student or do they go through some central placement process so like uh, when i was there uh, hmm. in our time there was a central placement cell okay and we don't have uh, any cell specific to economic student but uh, recently i and this iit roorkee and other iits also have started this bsms economics hmm. so yeah. as more people are coming to study economics in iit we are hoping that we might get hmm. so was there any placement offered to students were students placed from this batch yeah almost 50% of the students of our batch are placed and like others who are not uh, they are mainly like research oriented to some are pursuing phd hmm. some are some are joint think tanks and like that got it got so it i think uh, we were 11 uh, in total oh. so out of that i think all of us are like working somewhere or else like some fellowship or think tank or phd or job or something like that the, because the batch size was also very low so getting i mean there was not much competition to compete with once you are inside iit but no you had to compete with other courses yeah. right yeah so when we were part of this central placement cell we ah. had to compete with bachelor students like <laughs> literally btech <laughs> g advanced students 
got it got but, it uh, again uh, it's like there's a positive point to that also like we also get these opportunities uh, which we uh, tech students are getting so if you are good at it uh, so you can just apply for it exactly iit is always known for its placement just that economics is a new course in iit so students are a little worried whether they will be placed or not otherwise btech wala people used to always get placed in iit right uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. so um, then let's talk about the professors so when we talk about professors uh, you know how is the culture with the professors and you know what what's the level at which professors go ahead and teach is it very difficult is it doable what's the culture with professors so uh, i think all the professors were good and uh, even if we couldn't understand in class we always had option to go and uh, ask the professors was there any system of email back I'm sorry any back that students used to get or it was 100% pass percentage yeah like uh, in our batch there was like 100% pass okay got it also the good thing about being in campus was uh, one that uh, we could discuss among our group so mm -hmm. whenever exams were used to be very close mm -hmm. so all of us all of our batch used to go and sit in the library and we were just discussing things asking uh, people about concepts and all so so the group study part was also very good plus uh, because we were in the campus uh, we had this uh, uh, opportunity to get, to join other courses as well like uh, for like other btech departments they also offer optional courses we can just um, enroll in it and we can go and sit in their classes oh. so that any extra credits were provided to you or is it just on voluntary purpose it's like it depends upon you if you want credits you can add it to your scorecard or you can just like just go and sit in the class and uh, give exam acha good so uh, so like for example till now also i know that dsc and jnu they don't focus a lot on coding still they don't teach python they don't teach a lot of r it's at a very basic level that coding is taught so how is the culture at iit do they fo do they focus on coding also because that is now required as part of the data science or is it a theoretical thing that they do we do have coding things like uh, not uh, python as of now but uh, we had stata eviews okay uh, but r and python has not been introduced no so not yet uh, but there are courses uh, uh, of uh, there are courses from other departments of python which we could go and join join so department and others okay and how do you get information that which department is offering the, these courses so uh, it's circulated in our groups and all okay okay got it got it you so, also get mails and also acha so it is across iit that you get a mail that such a course is starting and you can go ahead and join the course yeah okay so while we are registering for next semester so they circulate the courses and when we register for next semester we can register for that course as well that course as well got it got it okay so sonam now if student has to join compare between iit bsc and isi which course according to you why should they join iit i mean you know how should they decide between the three <laughs> well uh that depends upon like what the person wants like i personally wanted to do this quantitative things and when i went through the curriculum of iit so it was it had quite a part of quantitative economics involved econometrics advanced econometrics advanced theory in growth and efficiency in productivity analysis and a few more so i was uh, financial econometrics so i was interested in it so yeah. I I was like yeah this is my place I should go there. Got it. So only if a student has a quantitative edge, they like doing mathematical things, they should go for uh I you know IIT. But if they like theoretical things more, I think JNU is where they should be having an edge. Um. So okay, <laughs> that was particular about me. But I also think that 
IIT Roorkee particularly is quite research oriented. So if you are planning to do PhD in future, hmm. it's a good place because you get this uh, research experience. You have to go uh, do this project for 10 credit and say I go through this seminar. And all of our professors are there to just point out things and just make ourselves better. So I think uh, it is good if you want to pursue further PhD. Okay. So they focus on the research work as well. Got it. Okay. Thank you so much, Sonam. I think we have taken... Oh, one last question. The students always ask that, is attendance compulsory in master's course in your uh, in, at IIT? Uh, yeah, it, it kind of is, but uh, like professor, it mostly depends upon professors. So okay. they are I mean, chill they about it. Is it. Yeah, some of them do and some of them are chill about it. Okay. Also, another good thing about IIT Rookie is the fest and all. You have this technical fest cognizance at this home, so hmm. it's, it's very nice. So if you are looking for other factors, that could be one. And the kind of exposure that you get at IIT is, is much more because of the multiple post courses that are running at IIT. So Absolutely. when you talk about ISI or DAC, there is just M economics running and DAC just has one or two more courses running, say MCOM running. but because IIT has so many courses running, so in such fests also you get a lot of exposure to these things. Absolutely. Also, there are these exchange programs in IIT Roorkee. So yeah. not all of them are for B, uh, for MSc Economics, but some of them are. So people, if interested, they can apply and like go for an exchange semester. You can go to um, countries abroad. Oh, okay, okay. But that there is a process which you have to go through for that. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I, Sonam, thank you so much for your time today. After you know having many discussions around, I think we fixed the time today and we could discuss this thoroughly. So uh, I wish you all the very best for your future, and I hope that you you know shine in the future and you know people are inspired to join IIT because they always look back to what the alumina is doing. So if alumina is doing well, then new people will join the course, right? So I just wish that all of you do very well in life. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you.